Hello and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. As you can tell, we're jumping straight into today's video. That whole opening was the before. So if you wanna be reminded, you can just click back and watch it again, but those are all the before clips. Now we're gonna start some like home updates and projects and decorating for today. The first area is this rug. So the last area rug we owned, I took it out just cause it was way too glam for the new kind of like decor mood we're going with. This one was never intended to stay. The company just sent it to me because they were running like a huge 70% off sale. So I just staged it in my living room so you guys could check it out. Um, you can still get 60% off this rug or any boutique rug. So this is not sponsored, but if you click on my boutique rugs link down below and use Ash 60, you'll get 60% off anything on the site. Um, so you can check out all the rugs and home decor and all of that. But before I roll this up, I always like to give it a good vacuum. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, but I wanted to show you just in case you have like these tassels at the end of your rugs or anywhere in your house, you would think to stay away from it with your vacuum, but it actually helps smooth it out. I watched our faux farmhouse do this on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. So I wanted to share it with you guys. In my last cleaning video, I was just talking about how Tiger doesn't attack my vacuum anymore. And then lo and behold, he started it in this video. I swear he heard me and was like trying to make a liar out of me. <laughs> So I actually really liked that rug in the space, but we're trying to get the blues out and I felt like the gray or blue in it was going more blue in my house and it was just a little bit too small. I think my last rug was just a little bit too big and I think that one was a little bit too small. So we did the size in between and it turned out to be perfect. So you're about to see the one we chose as we roll this out. Now that we have it rolled out, you can kind of see the style we're going for. So we're kind of doing this like modern farmhouse Scandinavian with a little touch of glam. We're just kind of throwing it all in together and making it work. But I think this rug looks so perfect for the space. I love it. Um, you're gonna see me kind of switch moods for a second. When I open up a rug, I like to just let it set there for a little bit, um, just cause it's been rolled up for so long. I had picked up this table from Home Goods. Um, I'm trying to add some black elements throughout the house and I felt like it was a really perfect spot for my plant. I couldn't decide if I should put it next to it and like decorate the table or put it on it. So let me know your opinion down below in the comments section. But here is the rug. So what I've learned is if you're getting a super thin rug, it holds the wrinkles more. So don't put any furniture on it and it should just kind of relax out overnight. If you're still having trouble, if you put it out in the hot sun for a few hours, it will release. Now, if you have a pretty thick pile or a pile at all on your rug, they, they tend to just release those wrinkles easier. So I just wanted to share those tips just in case you guys ever have any issues. So you would think putting furniture back would not be hard, but you're about to see. It took us a few tries to get everything centered up and lined up. Um, as you can see here, the rug was like too far from the left. So we're gonna go ahead and take everything off so we can shift it a little bit to the right. Try 
then once we finished up this time we realized it was too far to the right so now you're gonna see us take everything off again and readjust luckily the sofa and love seat is so much easier to move than our last sectional it was like four pieces and it had to like snap into each other now I will say this coffee table super heavy but it's nothing compared to that last sectional we owned Now, just in case you're wondering, we are gonna be talking about the Kitchen Island here really soon. I know a lot of you guys are probably here for that. Um, so we will be working on the island, so just hang tight a little longer. Tell you that I love you. So third time is a charm. We finally nailed it and got it right where we wanted. But what's funny is Chase like moves a lot of this in the evenings to practice his cornhole inside. So it won't last long, but at least for now it's looking good. I am gonna rearrange these two plants real quick. I couldn't decide if I liked the snake plant um, over here on my dining room table. If you watched my last decorate video, I have spun my table around. I'm really liking it this direction. I feel like it works best with the bench. If I had chairs on both sides, I like the other way, but I feel like with the bench, I don't know, it just feels better and right. So I kept moving these plants around, so you'll have to let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna tell you that I need you. I need you every day. You'll get weary of my touch. I really like the plant here, but I also feel like since it's so tall, it blocks our photos on the wall. Plus, when we're trying to like sit down and eat and have a conversation, we always have to move it, and I feel like it's always gonna scratch the table. So I think I end up flipping these back. You'll see it at the very end of today's video. But now we're gonna switch gears and start talking about the kitchen, mainly the kitchen island. You guys can see right here, it's like a shade of blue. It's called Cadet, if you're wanting to know. I know a lot of people love this color. We had it in our last house and we were just ready for a change. So we're gonna have painters come in and spray it. They're the painters that actually painted this whole house to begin with. Um, we were gonna try to do it ourselves, but we went ahead and got a quote and it was so much cheaper than the last quote that we had at our previous house when we had it done. It was like less than half the price. So we are like done, sold, and then it will have the same texture as the rest of our cabinets because it's being sprayed. But in that last clip, just so you know what I was doing, I was taking photos. So when I have to put all my stuff back in, I know exactly where it goes. So definitely snap those photos. And now I'm gonna start clearing everything out. I think it's really smart to get a quote before you start a project, especially on a piece that you can't move. Like I'm never gonna sell the island, so I wanted it done really well. Um, and prices vary so much. So from state to state, they're gonna be different prices. I just encourage you to reach out, like snap a few pictures of it and start texting different companies. If you have a company that's already working in your neighborhood, get their number, typically they give you a discount. But prices can vary from each company and then they really vary from state to state. So definitely just um, text some people and you can get free quotes so you kind of know the price in your area and then you can decide is it worth it to have it done or are you just gonna DIY and do it yourself? So now as you can see, I'm just showing you inside all the cabinets, what they look like empty. 
definitely take the time to do this if you have people coming in to paint. Save them the time. They don't have to worry about finding a spot to put it. It just takes a few minutes to clear it out and prep it for them. Um, I'm gonna even remove our bar stools. Um, we even take the time and like push up our sofa. And when a company's coming in, they are gonna tape off everything and cover it, but it's just really nice to get as much prepped for them as possible so they can just come in and get to work. Here is a better view of the island now that the bar stools are moved away. You can see it's a beautiful color. We still love it. It's just not going with our decor style anymore. I also wanted to show you that Chase went ahead and took off the hardware. You definitely don't have to do this. I think it's something they will do and put it back on, but Chase just likes to save them time and he doesn't mind doing it. So we definitely just prep it the best we can before they come in. And we were all doing this like the night before and the evening before. They were coming early the next day. So we were just making sure it was ready to go. And when we woke up the next day, even if they got there early, we were good to go. Now it is the next morning and as you can see the boys are in like doggy gel they're back there with us but we like to put a baby gate up in the hallway so they don't bug the workers they don't mess with the paint anything like that but here's a view of how they like cover everything in plastic when you're using a sprayer it goes everywhere I think that's why I've never bought one they freak me out I know they're so helpful and I'm gonna have to break down one day and do it but when it comes to the island and spraying inside our home, I don't want to be a guinea pig. I'll like roll the walls, but I don't want to spray. But it was so satisfying to watch. And as you can see right here, we're actually going white. I know a lot of you guys guessed black. A part of me wanted to go black, but I knew it wouldn't last long. And then we'd have to pay again to have it done. Whereas the white will go with no matter what I choose, no matter what style I'm decorating with, it's going to go. So I thought that was best for us, but I think the black is gorgeous. I also almost did a light gray, but things go so blue in my houses. So I just wanted to go white and neutral, but I'm just showing you some clips along the way of how it looked as the workers were working on it. I'm all up in that love haze, so where do we go now? I will also say like in our last house, they normally tape off your garage as well and they take the doors and drawers out there to spray, but they were literally painting the house um, two doors down from us. So they just took our cabinets down there to spray. I also think that's why it was so cheap is they already had workers right there. So they would just walk down, paint it and then go back and do other work while it would dry and then come back. So it was super nice. That was the perfect time to get it done. But as you can see right here, it is finished. It's not completely dry. Like I try to not touch it for like 48 hours. I'm putting the bar stools in front of it, but they're not like touching. So don't panic. They're like just setting against it so we can all start to get an idea of what it's gonna look like. If you 
you didn't watch us enough moving furniture in the first part of today's video, you get to watch us move it again. I have no idea what I was thinking, making sure that was perfect earlier. I guess I forgot we would be moving all the furniture forward so the painters didn't have to worry about it too much and be like crammed in the walkway, but I thought it was so funny. It was like less than 24 hours later and we're rearranging the furniture again. But now we're gonna start putting on the hardware. So we're still not gonna shut the drawers or doors or anything, but they were able to carry these down and install them. So I knew they were dry enough to like put in the hardware and you don't really touch the drawer. If you guys like the color, I need to talk about that now. It's alabaster, which is what's on the outside of our house and inside all the whites the same color. And I will have all of this hardware linked down below in my Amazon store. I love this stuff. Um, I love how clean and simple it is but we're gonna go ahead and get all of it put back on and then I have a fun little hack for you. I don't know why I added it to the video. I guess I switched modes and thought it was a cleaning video, but we're about to start that. Okay, so I think what started it is I got a sweet um, gift in the mail from a friend and she had sent me this gray scrubber, which I love and it was perfect for the kitchen. And I wanted to fill it up and I watched Katie Satelli. I'm sure most of you guys watch her. If not, definitely head on over to her channel, but she has a hack where you mix Dawn and vinegar. Um, and it just keeps things so clean. I know she mainly uses these in her bathroom, but I thought it would be really cool to keep it in my sink so my sink could stay clean. Um, these big bowl sinks are like super nice, but they are just a little bit harder to clean for some reason. So just having that little wand in there with um, the soap and the vinegar in it has helped so much. I'll show you right here what it looks like after using it. And then I would just take like my Jaws cleaner, um, either the stainless steel or the glass to kind of shine it up and dry it out. But now we're gonna start putting things back in the cabinets. So this is the next day. So I definitely waited a whole night for it to dry really well before I started putting things in. from home I picked up my phone I stared at your face but it's not your tone mm -hmm. say no hello now, if you're not super organized or you weren't before you took everything out, this is a good time as you're putting it back in to throw away any empty bottles, anything you're not using, you can donate or get rid of and really make sure you're organizing it as you put it back in. So I was super organized, so I know exactly where to put it, but definitely play around with it. it doesn't have to go back in the same spot if it wasn't working for you. So definitely just try something new if you need to. As you can see, I'm obsessed with all my Jaws cleaner refills. I think it's so nice. You can have so much on hand and it's not like bottles. It's just the cute little pods and then you never run out. If you guys haven't heard about Jaws, this is not sponsored, but they're like non-toxic, eco-friendly and pet safe. Um, if you need some refills or if you just wanna get your starter kit or just try one bottle or two, um, you can use Ashley25 at checkout to get 25% off. They have a new one out and it's a multi-surface cleaner. So if you're just gonna get one, it's the way to go and it's pink and it's amazing. So check that out. Like I said, this isn't sponsored, but I love them and we were showing them on screen. So I felt like I needed to say it, but now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting all my decor pieces back on the island. Um, my tray gets super dirty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that up. Up, and then you can see how everything looks inside.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you inside all the drawers and the cabinets. Most of them are super organized. There's a few that I could do a little bit better. They're organized, they're just not as pretty. So I need to work on those. So I'll probably be doing that in an upcoming video, just doing like a real good deep clean and organize. Some of these I had nailed, like that drawer's good underneath my sink, even the drawer below down here. And as you can see, I'm being super careful and I'm not shutting the drawers all the way or the cabinets. are in love with the way it turned out. We feel like the bar stools just pop so much more now. I feel like my house was already like a bright house because we have so many windows and daylight bulbs, but it just brightened it up even more and it made all the wood elements just pop and made it nice and cozy. So we are super happy with the style and the look we have going on. We're so glad we took the time and got the island painted. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I'm gonna just go ahead and show you just a few more clips if you wanna see how all the spaces are looking. But if you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. And be sure to click on all notifications so YouTube will let you know every time I post. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Bye. Just a lesson that I've learned And so it goes Tables turn In your own room